G'day guys, I'm going to split the exercise 3B, the 3 median regression line into three exercise, into three videos, I'm sorry. The first video, this one, is going to cover splitting the points. Okay. And also doing, doing a drawing using those three points on a graph. Okay, so by hand, basically. So the three median, remember median is middle. Okay, so if we're talking three median, we're, we're going to be split, splitting, I should say, data into three groups, right? And then find the median of each group and fit a line based on them. Okay, so that's what this whole idea is right here. So we're going to split the points into three groups, we're going to find the median of each group, and then we're going to fit a line based on, on the medians. Okay, so here we go. Of course, we're going to start with this on the graphs. Okay, and I'm going to talk to you about splitting points. So, so how do we do it? If it's divisible by three, it's really easy. Okay, as I did with my 12 one, you just split it into three groups of four. If it's not divisible by three, it gets a bit trickier. What you do is divide by three, and then use the following rule. If you have one left over, so one remainder, that goes in the middle group. So put in middle group. For example, okay, so example, if I had 13 points, if I divide that by 3, I get 4 with one remainder. Okay, so each group has 4, and the middle group, you add the remainder. So it would be 4, 5 in the middle group, and 4 in the other end group. Okay, so that's if you have one left over. What if you have two left over? So if you have two left over, so you divide by three, two remainder, put one in each end group. Okay, so my example would be in this case 14, divide it by three, you get four again, but you get two remainder. So each group has four to start, and you add one remainder to end groups. So what you end up with is five, four, five in your three groups. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about how to draw a three median regression line on a graph. So the first thing you need to work out is how many points you've got. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 points, we divide by 3, which means 5 in each group. Okay, so you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we just go across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to head down in here. So now that I've got my graph split into three groups, I need to find the median of each group. Now I do this with a ruler, and I go one, and I move slowly across the page to three, so it's gonna be roughly on the third line there, and then one, two, three. So it's gonna be where those two lines cross each other. Do the same for the others, one, two, three, so it's going to be there somewhere, one, two, three, so it's going to be where those two lines meet, and the same on the last group, one, two, three, and one, two, three, so in this last group it's actually that point there. So there's three medians, now to draw the regression line, and this is actually very, very easy also. What you do is you line up your two end point medians, and so it looks like that, and then you shift one third of the way towards your centre median. Okay, so you'll see I had it set 
there where it meets the two outer, outer medians and then I shift it about a third of the way towards the, net, the center median and that there will be my three median regression line. I should point out that it is expected of you to find the equation of this line quite often and if you draw this line on graph paper you'll be able to read off the y-intercept there okay and oh you can't read that y-intercept there okay and you also because you would have done this on graph paper alright you always do this on graph paper even though I haven't here you find two points on your line so there's one there we can see okay and there's one here we can see and we use those two to calculate the gradient so we do that with rise and run so m which is your gradient equals the rise over the run okay some of you may have seen that as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay m equaling that and that's a perfectly reasonable way of doing it as well okay so if you are going to do a three median regression line graphically you must do it on graph paper and I'll write it in big capital letters Okay, you must do it on graph paper so that you can read off the y-intercept, find your two points and calculate your gradient.